All right, you guys ready? Yes. So we start the morning out kind of lighthearted and not to be like, uh, this is people who have like multiple personalities, schizophrenic, right? Not to be like a nut job and just go totally different personality on you, but we're here for the protector summit and what does it mean to you to be a protector? What does, that, what does that even mean? You know what I mean? What does it mean to you? As a dad, I got a wife and kids looking to me to be their primary source of physical safety. So I'm here to learn how to do that better. Physical safety, what else? Spiritual. Spiritual. These are the two big ones that we really think about, right? And we have to understand that <clears throat> the physical is a byproduct of the spiritual. So there's spiritual attacks that are happening to us, right? That change our mindset, that change our philosophy, that change the words that come out of our mouth. And at that point, it then follows through into a physical sense. All this shit we see going on in the world right now that happened in the mind, that happened in the spirit before it went into action on paper. The thought had to be there before they put it on paper. The thought had to be there before someone made a decision to uh, impose their will on someone else. Does that make sense? Yes. Right? So there's a spiritual attack. And if we, don't even, if we don't recognize that we're being attacked spiritually and there's even a war going on there, then everything we're doing is reactionary. Is it easier to win a battle being the one setting the ambush or being the one trying to react to it? Setting, setting the ambush. Because you're picking and choosing when the fight takes place right? So we have to understand and acknowledge the fact first and foremost that there's a war going on in the spiritual realm for our minds and our souls, right? And that is what then comes out into the physical sense. And that's one of the things that we're going to really focus on this weekend. But there's more to being a protector, right, than just the physical and the spiritual. And we'll get into this later, but I just want to kind of set a tone for mindset, <clears throat> I look at it like, I remember talking to people um, who say they don't like to run. I, there's a lot of people who don't like to run. And of course, they're like, Rich, you're skinny as hell. Like, of course, you don't mind running. You're skinny, right? <clears throat> there's some truth to that. But there's a difference in going, the, people say, I don't want to run because I'm never going to run from anyone. You know what I mean? Or, or, or I don't run or running's stupid, right? But it's a mindset thing. And I remember going through the SEAL training, running down the beach and staring at the dudes back in front of me, and I wasn't running, I was chasing. I'm coming for you, and I'd watch their back until I pass, and I'm like, you're done. And I look at the next person who is in front of me, right? And I'm chasing. So when we look at the mindset of it <clears throat> as far as what does a protector do? When we look at the different aspects, well, what is it one of the main, pro what is it one of the main things when, just, when they say, what do, in a relationship you have men and women, and, and men are what? Pro providers, right? Protectors and providers. These really fall almost into the same category. From a mindset standpoint, where you go, <clears throat> if I'm providing for you, I am also protecting you. If you are mine, you're not going to starve. I'm going to protect you from starvation. If you're with me, you're not going to be out of money. I'm going to protect you from poverty. And you can go on and on in all these different areas. And we look at this, right? And me providing is also me protecting. And it changes the mindset on this. I'm chasing. I'm not running. Does that make sense? So we start looking at the different areas of our life of how we can be a provider as a man, right? And I can attack that situation like it's its own battle, right? And make sure that I win. And I can approach it not from a victim mindset of like, oh man, this is a struggle. It's this is the battle because I'm a protector. Does that make sense? Right? 